Hey Cancer, welcome guys. I hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning in. So it is that time again. We are going to be doing our monthly predictions for the next month. So this is January predictions. I have this, this, oops, sorry, on this side, this new little camera set up here so that you guys can see what I see. You can see what all the cards that I have out. So I have January, my little tea leaf January card laid out just to set the intentions for the universe. So we're gonna grab a few more uh, from the bag here. My little bowl, I couldn't use it because it, it gets a little hinky with the green screen. So I'll have to find a replacement, but we'll use the bag today and it'll be just fine. Alrighty, so we have Pig. This card represents beware of greed. I wonder what this is all about, if this is speaking to you or maybe somebody you're going to encounter in the next month or someone who's already in your life. I also have Apple. Ooh, temptation will test you. Well, these two cards, like these two cards are definitely fitting together. So I wonder if somebody offers you uh, some sort of an opportunity that feels too good to be true. Uh, and, and it might actually be. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, gavel involvement with the law. I wonder what this is all about, guys. And holy shit, well, that kind of just fits together. Door, opportunities are waiting for you. Uh, okay, so... Whatever's coming, and all oh my cards are sliding. Whatever's coming in the next little month here, be careful, because uh, if it seems like it's too good to be true, chances are it is, and that is what the cards are saying, because we do have that gavel involvement with the law. Uh, maybe it's just considering the source that it comes from. Maybe that's where our gavel fits in. Maybe it's somebody uh, uh, who sometimes has some not so hot or legal ideas <laughs> and the cards are warning us not to sort of follow suit if it's something that they're offering maybe dig a little deeper and make sure uh make sure it's on the up and up let's see i'm dying to know what tarot is going to have to say about this one so i have the two of pentacles so the two of pentacles does represent balance uh so we might be talking about uh finding a balance uh within whatever this temptation is and and being offered this thing and not letting our greed kind of taking over and doing a little bit of of investigating to make sure that this is a solid idea i also have the five of cups this five of cups represents uh a warning not to get stuck in negative emotions so much so that you can't see positive opportunities around you hmm i wonder what this is all about you know what i do get pulled to the door when i look at this card there might be other opportunities within whatever this person says whatever this thing is that that's going to tempt you there might be another way around this uh where we can avoid this this gavel card as well and there might be a need to sort of stay balanced and stay focused and sort of investigate dip different options here i also have the magician card so he represents having all the tools that you need to be successful in life and believing in yourself this is a shortcut whatever this is that you're going to be offered this is a shortcut to get to where you where you want to go which might be money making more money that financial improvement and it might be it might seem a lot faster and easier than what you are doing or what you had planned to do because as soon as i pulled this magician card that was the impression that i got that whatever this was that was going to tempt you is like a shortcut to get to where you're actually trying to go but he says you have all the tools that you need to do it the right way to do it where you can avoid that gavel avoid whatever this situation is because this situation this this is going to be a bad time I also have the Empress card. So the Empress card does represent that growth. She represents that nurturing. Um, so we are speaking about we are speaking about some sort of a growth here. We might be uh, growing financially. It might be just keeping with the path that we're on uh, and trusting in ourselves and trusting in our judgment that we're going the right way and not doing anything too risky, not being tempted by greed as well and in this way we're growing our integrity is growing because that is the word that comes to mind when i look at her integrity so doing things the right way even though sometimes they take a little bit longer guys and you know i i know that the that saying nice guys always finish last sometimes sometimes they finish not quite last but it takes them a hell of a lot longer to finish the race guys but it's important to move through your life uh with that integrity that's going to be big for you so you can look at yourself at, look at yourself in the mirror and you can sleep at night and you can be proud of who you are as a person and the choices that you've made even though it does take you longer and uh, possibly to get to where you're going I do have the Eight of Wands. So this Eight of Wands can represent communication. It can represent swift change. It can also represent travel as well. 
whatever this opportunity is, it's going to come quickly to you. That's part of the swift change here. But communication is a big part of it. So somebody is bringing this opportunity or this idea your way. Somebody is going to be communicating this to you. I also have the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords can represent heartbreak. It can also represent separation. This might speak of a need to separate yourself from wherever this idea is coming from so that you don't wind up tied in with that gavel card. Uh, this could also represent a why the need for uh, financial improvement is there to begin with. This could have been a catalyst, maybe a breakup or a divorce uh, that left you in a shitty spot and you're looking to try and improve your finances as well, guys. I also have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant can represent that higher learning. Uh, he can represent, uh, I do see the word intuition comes to comes to my mind. It's almost like a mentor or somebody who you looked up to for advice who possibly who has who has passed, maybe you still feel their presence or you still seek their guidance, uh, but you are going to get the answers that you want. All you have to do when this opportunity comes forward is think the question in your mind, like, is this too good to be true? You're going to get the answer in your mind. You're going to hear that. Yes, don't do it. Trust that because that is this hierophant. That is wherever this is coming from, that spiritual side, that other side of the veil. If this is somebody who you lost trying to give you guidance or it's just your intuition and spirit in general trying to help you moving forward in the right direction. But I feel like you're going to know when this opportunity comes. There's a part of you that's going to be like, yeah, I shouldn't do this. But because the payoff looks good, you are going to be tempted. Just remember, it is tied in with that gavel card. I am 100% sure that whatever this is, it's tied in with the gavel card. So if you take a chance on it, you're taking a chance on that gavel card. So it's entirely up to you what you're going to do. But the cards are definitely handing out a steady warning today. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.